Hello everybody, welcome to today's Black Belt Club class online. I am Sensei Nick, I'll be teaching you guys a little bit about Kali, Kali Eskrima, as some of you guys hear me say. And what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing some of our basic strikes, along with some of our footwork, mainly the V footwork, the upside down V, which you'll also hear me refer to as the triangle step as well. So what you'll need for this class, everybody, one Kali stick, and of course, a good attitude. Let us begin. Now everybody, if you take a look behind me, right here, you'll notice that I put an X on the floor. And this X is actually two V's. It's a forward V and an upside down V. And that's what we're gonna be using for our steps today. So if you guys do have something at your house that you would like to use to kind of help you out to do this, by all means, put something down. Otherwise, we do wanna remember that we always wanna start on a middle spot and either step up or step down. So let's take a look at what I've done here. So as you can see, I have a yellow V going up. That's gonna be our main stepping, but I also have a pink V going backwards. So we have V and we'll call it triangle. So right now, what I would like everybody to do is take that stick, put it into your strong hand. I am going to mirror you guys, so everything that we do, it's gonna be like you are looking into a mirror. So first things first is our safety. We want to make sure, number one, that we hold the stick correctly. So I take my opposite hand, put it on the bottom of the stick. I take the hand that I'm going to use, put it above, and if you look, I have at least one hand length up. The reason for this is I want to have a lot of control with this stick. If I hold the stick way down here and then I go to swing, it's going to go flying out of my hand. Now, I would show you in here, but unfortunately, I might hit the camera, and then you wouldn't have Sensei Nick teaching you anything with the Kali sticks today and that wouldn't be any fun. So again, non-strike hand down, control hand slash strike hand up, let go. Now the next thing I need everybody to do is to take your non-stick hand and put it right here on your chest. The reason for this is we don't want that hand out here. Sometimes students get really excited and they start going all their strikes and they get overexcited and they strike that hand is out there and and ah, that hurt a lot. So we don't want anybody to get hurt. So we're preventing injuries. So take your opposite hand, put it on your chest, hold your shirt. As long as it is out of the way, that's the big thing. So everybody, we're gonna just start with our stick up here and we're just going to practice our V step. I'm gonna use the yellow tabs right here. So we all start with our feet together. And when I V step up, we're gonna use your right leg first. V step up, and notice I step at a slight angle, and back. Now my opposite leg, V step up, back. V step up, back. V step up, back. Again, with the steps only, V step up, and back. V step up, and back. Now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you guys how we're actually stepping. In the corner over here, I actually have a mini table. And we're gonna see how I actually step to the side each time. So I'm gonna come in, everybody make sure you have this. Now if you do have something you can use at your house, maybe you have a pillow you can put on the floor, by all means go for it. Please don't use the family pet. So right here I take this nice little table, I put it right here, ba ba ba. Here is my opponent. Hello Mr. Opponent, Mr. T. That's what we're gonna call him today. So as I do this step, you'll notice how every time I step, look at that V step, I'm still facing the table. My chest and head face the table each time. So V step up, back. V step up, back. V step up, back. V step up, back. Very simple step. Very, very simple. But as we can see, I'm always going to one side, so I'm facing my opponent. So what we'll do Next is we'll now take in first the six basic strikes. And I'm going to keep this here. Now I'm not going to be hitting this, but you're going to see how I turn my body for my attack, and then we'll get rid of this table so we can do this into the air. So first, angle one. Remember, you guys are simply going to copy me. In fact, guys, I'm going to put this into my right hand right now to show you guys first how I do since I'm righty, and then I'll put it back to my left hand so we can mirror. So I'm gonna show you guys, you're not doing this yet. V, one, V, two. I say V, step, then the strike. 
V step up, angle three across my waist. V step up, angle four. V step up, angle five. V step up, angle six. So you noticed every time I step, I was facing this table, Mr. T, and attacking. So let me get rid of Mr. T for us. Everybody say bye, Mr. T. Hi, Mr. T. You're here to call your visitor us. Hopefully, Mr. T won't fall in the middle of our class. So again, guys, I'm going to put it into my left hand so you guys will actually mirror me. Hand on the chest. Let's practice this together with our V-steps. From here, V-step up, angle one. Notice I make a nice slice. Bring it up to my opposite shoulder. I chamber this arm almost like a back fist. V-step up, angle two. Now angle three and four are across the waist. V-step up, angle three, and back. V-step up, angle four, and back. V-step up, angle five. Notice it comes from the bottom. I drop it to the opposite hip. V-step up, angle six. So we're going to do those a little bit faster, and then I'm going to give you guys some bonus material. V, one. V, two. V, three. V, four. V, five. V, six. And then let's move on, shall we? Now, I'm still going to do some V-stepping, a little bit awkward with the V-stepping, but here we go. I'm going to go to angle seven and angle eight. On angle seven, I still step up, but I'm going to thrust in. And on angle eight, I'm going to bring it behind my head and straight down. So again, angle seven, thrust, angle eight, down. Let's go through the eight steps with our Vs. Let's really make sure that we always come back to the middle of this. After this, I'm going to show you guys the opposite steps to kind of work just a little bit, getting used to stepping backwards. I normally don't do a lot of the upside down V-step or the triangle steps. I prefer the V-step, but it's always good to know everything. The more you know, the better you can get at perfecting absolutely everything. So let's go through all eight of those. V-step up, one. V-step up, two. V-step up, across the waist, three. V-step up, four. V-step up, five. V-step up, six. V-step up, seven. V-step up, eight. And bring it in. Now I'm just gonna hold this stick up here. Now I'm gonna work on going backwards. So again, we're gonna pretend that Mr. T, my table of course, is back here. Now Mr. T is attacking me and I have to work on stepping backwards now. If you look, I'm just stepping across, still turning my body towards the middle of the V slash upside down V. So as we do that backwards V or a triangle step, I simply go down that line. Like I said, if you guys have something at home that you can use, even take two old belts and make an X in the middle of the floor. It's a great learning tool for you guys to try that out. So again, V, upside down, of course. This is for more defense. Now we're gonna kind of skip over on the defense today. We just wanna have this down. And what we're gonna do next, we're gonna add on some strikes. We're gonna go to the sun line and the moon line. Again, work in our Vs. So a sun line is just a one, six. If you notice, it's almost like we're traveling the same line. I'm just coming up and down, up and down. And if you look, whoa, there's that belt line underneath me and it travels across. Boom, boom. Now I'm gonna set up for my moon line. My moon line, I step up to prepare for angle two, come back, angle five, dip it behind my head. Let's try this a few times. V step up, one, return back six, I let that stick go behind my head. V step up, two, five. Circle, one more time. One. What number was that? Six. 
around two and five and bring it in. Now, last thing, just for some fun, I'm gonna put this to my right hand since I am right dominant. If you guys ever notice, sometimes when we teach a stick class, we kind of talk, and I want to pretend that I'm actually in class, and we'll be sitting there kind of chatting a little bit, and a lot of students say, wow, Sensei, how do you do that? And my number one answer always is practice. But I'm going to show you guys today. So simple outside body collie spin. What I'm going to do, if you watch my hand here, I'm going to use my index finger boop, 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 and my thumb to control. I turn the hand down. And I let this roll and I catch it with the finger. So as I get closer, you guys can see my hand. Um, it's like a propeller. It's coming around. So it's almost if we think in terms of chucks, this is going positive. I'm catching down, catch down. So it always comes from over the top as I do that spin. So right now, everybody, let's take that stick down by your side, put it in a safe manner or hold it in front of you like this. Remember, whenever we work on any type of weapon, we always want to think safety first. Correct hold, never swinging it around as we're walking around. We wouldn't want to hit our little brother, our little sister, our family pet, you know, whether it be a dog, cat, chinchilla, whatever it may be. We always want to think safe. So whenever we're not practicing with the weapon actively with one of your instructors, always make sure that you are not swinging it and you're holding it in a safe position. Everybody, thank you for joining me on today's Black Belt Club class. We did work on your collie stick a little bit. Hopefully you guys learned something new. And if you didn't learn something new and it was just review, keep practicing. And remember, it's always good to go back and practice the stuff that you already know because that is how we get better. Just like when I talk about back to basics, we always work on the things that we build upon. Some of you guys, this was a back to basics BBC class. Some of you guys, this was some brand new stuff. Have fun, watch the video a couple times, see what you can pick up in it, and I hope you guys are all enjoying your time off if you're doing this over vacation or in general. I hope you enjoyed the video. Everybody, hands by your sides, since I need right, oos. Everybody, you have a wonderful day.